It's a cold morning across southern West Virginia with temperatures currently in the upper 20s to low 30s. So 27 right now in Lewisburg, 29 in Marlinton, 29 in Summersville, the low 30s for the rest of us into our southern counties. And because of those cold temperatures, we are under a freeze warning for our entire viewing area. We are seeing a little hole in that shading. That's because you guys up there, not quite in your growing season yet, but you are still seeing below freezing temperatures this morning. And with these below freezing temperatures and a freeze warning, we are seeing that frost out there. We're going to need a good scrape to go about your morning today. Heat up that car for a few minutes before you head out the door. For your dog walking forecast, so conditions are going to improve today. But the cold this morning makes me want to stay bundled up in bed just like Angel sent in by David. And for the afternoon today, we'll see temperatures reaching the upper 50s to low 60s. We will see a few clouds though out there, but we're staying dry. It will be a little warmer. 58's definitely more comfortable than the 30s. And it's a great day for a nice long walk with your furry friends. For your satellite and radar currently out there, we're staying calm, quiet, clear out there. Maybe a few clouds, but certainly not many. And we can see that freeze alerts extending for lots of the region. We're going to be seeing some rain to our north today, but that's going to stay to our north and we could see some showers to our south. But here in southern West Virginia, we're looking dry for the afternoon today, but we are seeing rain on the way. So for the rest of the week, we're going to be a little bit mostly dry for Wednesday, but by Thursday we could see a few showers moving in and by Thursday night widespread rain is likely that continues into Friday morning for your Saturday. We could see a break in that rain Saturday morning, but for the end of the weekend, especially by Sunday, widespread showers expected to return and we could start the week off next week with a few showers as well. So we're clearly about to enter a more active pattern. So enjoy the dry weather for the next couple of days because we might go several days without dry weather as we go into the weekend for the upcoming weather pattern. We could see a few sprinkles for your Wednesday afternoon, but still mostly dry. It's really the end of the week. We see that more active pattern moving in. So for Thursday afternoon, still mostly dry. It's late Thursday night when that next round of heavy rain will move in and that will continue overnight into Friday morning before we see that clearing out for Friday night. We see mostly dry conditions for your Saturday into Saturday afternoon. We could even see a break in that rain, widely scattered showers for Friday, or excuse me, for Saturday. So a much drier day, but Sunday we see more rain moving in for the evening and as we go into Sunday night for the next seven days, partly cloudy for your Tuesday. We reach that high today in the upper 50s, but we'll be a little bit warmer for Wednesday. Mostly dry, partly cloudy, 64 for that high temperature right at the average for this time of year. As we go into the end of the week, rain returns, especially by Friday morning, and we can see that continuing off and on through the weekend, maybe into the start of next week. Temperature is going to be cooler again, though, to start the new week off with that high on Monday of 58.